to go to for the how to, you know that you want to get beautiful. Hi Primbers, welcome to a very special five things I'm loving this week from my hotel room in New York City. Now obviously I'm here for Fashion Week um, and I have come across a few amazing, amazing things this week that I really want to share with you guys. Um, so coming in at number five is the new Jill Sand Essential Fragrance. Now this is just a tester, um, but I brought this along with me because it was small and I thought it'd be really cute to have in my travel bag, but I've turned out to absolutely love it. It smells absolutely amazing. It's so, so sexy. And we all love those Jill Sander ads so, so much. And this is the latest one. So this is my pick for number five, Jill Sand Essential. Coming in at number four is Essie Nail Polish. Any Essie Nail Polish, especially the one that's on my fingers right now. It's called Nisa's Nice and it's this beautiful like lilac purple. It's so, so cute. Um, I actually met Essie on Wednesday. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting her at Trump Tower. Actually, they put on this amazing event for us and she came and she's so glamorous and fabulous. I'm not sure if you saw my tweeted photo, but she's pretty damn awesome. Um, anyway, we all got Manny's there and just talking to the girls about the brand and about all the products available in the brand it kind of blew my mind a little bit and um, this color here is called spaghetti strap and it's so cute it's another kind of soft pinky color so we saw we're seeing a lot of pastels coming through for spring 2011 so it's about to be launched um, in Australia I think that with all the different seasons it's confusing but um, these kind of pastel tones of purples and mint greens and baby pinks and it's so so cute so that is my pick for number four this week coming in at number five is totally not beauty related but I thought because it's a New York special I should um, include this now every night in our hotel room when they do the turn down service instead of getting like a little chocolate that you might get in like an Australian hotel or another hotel around the world in New York you get these massive absolutely huge Nenish tarts and um yeah I gotta love this it's pretty awesome only in New York could you get a dinner pillow so big um so this is my pick for number three and you can pretty much pick them up from any kind of little corner store around the corner that I uh, I love they're really tasty as well the other day I got a chocolate one and today it's obviously strawberry or something delicious now, coming in at number two is this Peony and Python palette by Bobbi Brown. Now, I brought this away with me again, just chucked in my bag because it's convenient to have pop palettes while you're on holidays because you obviously just get so many colors in one. But it turns out that I absolutely love this one. It's got, oh, there goes the brush. It's got beautiful like purple shades, pinky shades, silver, some are metallic, some are matte. And again, we all know that Bobby just smashes it when it comes to eye palettes. But this one um, is really versatile, really on trend colors with the beautiful purples and the pinks. Again, it matches my nail polish. Um, and the packaging is just so adorable. I love the outside of that. So that is my pick for number two this week, Primpers. And coming in at number one, is this new Maybelline Eye Studio. Now, what this does is it's like a gel eyeliner and I hadn't tried these before and now I'm having trouble opening it. Anyway, you all know what a gel eyeliner looks like. But um, they're just super, super easy to apply with like a really, really fine brush and I love these. I'm actually wearing it now. And the best thing about this is this is a black but we also have it in this stunning eggplant color which I think is so hot right now. It's so... Just such a beautiful colour to wear with any eye shade. Um, and so they're really fun. So this is the new Maybelline Eye Studio um, Gel Eyeliner. That is my pick for number one. And I'm also loving their Colour Sensation lipsticks um, that I'm wearing right now. In This one I'm wearing is called Fifth Avenue Fuchsia, but I don't think it's available in Australia, which kind of sucks. But uh, Coral Crush is, and that was my second pick for this week. Anyway, guys, they are my top five products from New York City this week. Uh, I hope that you are enjoying the New York City coverage, and, you know, it's been such an amazing experience coming to Fashion Week. It's just been so, so much fun. Um, but I will be back at Primped HQ on Tuesday. So I look forward to giving you more of a rundown of what I've been doing this week then. But until then, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.